Welcome back to Algebra 2. Systems of Equations, Add and Subtraction, Elimination Method. This is on page 146 if you're in my class. I have three examples here for you. Yesterday, which the video is not posted yet, but it'll be on there today. Yesterday, um, we discussed how to do this graphing. And although graphing sometimes is easier for people, uh, it's a little bit longer of a process. So the second method you're going to learn is elimination by adding and subtracting. What you want to do with the two equations is to get one of them to match the numbers. Uh, this one's a 5, that one's a 5. You want them to match so that you can cancel them out. And what that is, is that if you already have one that's matching, whether their signs match or not, uh, 5 and 5y, 5y and 5y, we're going to add or subtract these down to where the y's cancel out. Then we'll solve for x and plug it back in to solve for y. So what I mean by that is this is a negative 5y and a positive 5y. Should I add them to get them to cancel out or should I subtract them? Negative 5 minus a positive 5 is negative 10. So I'm not subtracting, I'm going to add. If I add straight down 4x plus 3x, that gives me 7x. Negative 5 plus a positive 5 gives me nothing. It's a 0. That cancels out. And 3 plus 11 gives me 14. Now I can solve for x, which is the first part of my answer. So um, divide by 7, x equals 2. So in my answer, my coordinate pair, 2 is the x, which is the first number in that pair. Now I'm going to take one of these equations, one of them, and put the 2 back in for x and solve for the y. So I'm going to just pick the top one. So wherever there's an x, I'm going to substitute this 2 that I found. And then I'm going to solve for y and make my other number there. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 5y equals 3. I'm going to move my 8 over there by subtracting it. I get negative 5y equals negative 5. 3 minus 8 is negative 5. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 5. And y will equal a positive 1. So that is my other part of my answer. And this is the pair that I was looking for. Okay. Um, that to me is less work than what we did yesterday. You might, might find yesterday's easier and that's fine later down the line. But you do need to learn this method. Um, okay, we're going to look at 7 and find out what happens if you don't have one that matches. So on 7, I have an x and a 4x and I have a 5y and a 3y. I need one of them to match numbers. Okay, to do that I have to multiply the whole equation. If I'm do changing this one, the whole top, not just one piece. So if this is a 4 and I want this to be a 4, I need to multiply this top equation by 4. As long as I do the whole thing, it stays equal in an equation. So 4 times x gives me 4x. 4 times 5y is going to give me 20y. And 4 times 7 gives me 28. So now I'm looking at this one. And I have a 4x and a 4x. If I add them, I'm getting 8x. So they're not going to cancel. So I need to subtract them. So when I subtract them, 4x minus 4x is nothing. So x is gone. Then I have 20 minus 3. So that's going to be 17y. And then I have 28 minus 11, which is going to be 17, I believe. Okay. I solve for y. So I divide by 17. And y equals 1. So when I do my ordered pair, y is the second number. That's where the 1. Don't mix them up because it will be wrong. Once I have that, I go back into original equation. You don't use the one that you um, made. You use one of the original equations. So we'll pick the top one here. And this time I'm substituting in for y. So the top one would be x plus 5 times 1, because that's what we said y was, equals 7. So that's x plus 5, because 1 times 5 is uh, 5. We're going to subtract 5, and x equals 2. So this one, again, is 2, 1. They're not all 2, 1. Don't put 2, 1 on every answer and show your work. This is the answer for that equation. 
Okay, so the whole point is to get something, if you add or subtract them straight down, to get something to cancel out. So 11 is about as difficult as we're going to go today. And if you see here, I have a 7 and a 3 and a, two, and a 3 and a 2. None of these match. And in order to get them to match, because they're such different numbers, I'm going to have to multiply and manipulate both equations. The easiest route, 7 and 3, I don't want 21. That's too big of a number. So I'm going to look at this 3 and 2. And the first number they both go into is 6. If I multiply this by 2 and I multiply this one by 3, these numbers will both be 6. And then I can work with that. It's kind of like finding a common denominator. So I'm going to rewrite them up here. 2 times 7a is going to give me 14a. 2 times negative 3b will give me negative 6b. And 2 times 9 gives me 18. Remember, you've got to multiply everything or this does not work. 3 times 3a is going to give me 9a. 3 times negative 2b is going to give me negative 6b. And 3 times 1 is going to give me 3. Now I can work with these. These are both negatives, so I don't want to add them because then I'm going to get negative 12. I want to subtract them because a negative negative makes a positive, uh, which essentially changes that sign. It's like negative 6 minus a negative 6 makes this negative 6 plus 6, okay? If you're scared about that, do it in your calculator. Put negative 6 minus a negative 6, and I promise you it will come out. All right, so we're going to subtract them. 14 minus 9 should be 5a. These cancel out, and then 18 minus 3 is 15. So, in this case, I divide by 5, and a equals 3. And since a is first alphabetically, there's no other letter in front of it, that will be my x, okay? And what b will be my y. So, in my answer, the first one, I have a 3, okay? Now I'm going to go back in. One of the original equations, I won't use these uh, because if you messed up, it ain't going to help you. So uh, this time we'll pick the second one because it looks a little less complicated. And wherever there's an A, I will put a 3. So 3 times 3, because that's what we said A was, minus 2B equals 1. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 2B equals 1. I'm going to move my 9 over, and we do the opposite. It was positive, so it's negative. Negative 2b equals negative 8. Divide by negative 2. And negative by negative is always a positive. 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4, so b will be 4. Okay? Um, in the assignment, it does say to check these because some of these will come out dependent, like in the last video, or inconsistent. However, I want you to get this down first before we check. What you would do was put both of these back in, your X and your Y, to see if it makes that one true, and this one to make this true. What I mean by that is if I, this is X, so if I put 2 in here, this is Y, a 1 in here, 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 1 is 5, does 8 minus 5 equal 3? Yes, so that one's good. I put it back in here. 3 times 2 is 6. 5 times 1 is 5. Does 6 plus 5 equal 11? Yes, that's a check. But for now, just do this, okay? I will be happy enough for this, and we can check them starting tomorrow. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless.